Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks very much for tuning in. Um, today I just want to do a very quick video about how I secure my bike. Um, it's something that should be on everyone's mind is with regards to how to make sure your bike is secure. So stick around, stay tuned and we'll quickly go through now how I keep my bike safe. So like I say, obviously, uh, it's very important to keep your bike safe. I have in the past, unfortunately, had an R1200R stolen from the front of my house. So after that happened, I did have a strong think with regards to how to keep my bike safe. Now, unfortunately, in my situation, I haven't got a garage where I live, so I needed something a little bit more secure to keep the bike out of sight and um, nice and safe. So I got myself from Armadillo, uh, a company on the website, and I'll put the link up here, a uh, box to put my bike in. It's basically a steel galvanized motorcycle shed. Uh, it's very secure. Um, it's got five hinges on the front door um, and two secure locks on the front uh, to make it very difficult to gain entry into the tin. And additionally to this, I've got a few other features which help as a barrier against thieves. So the first barrier is an alarmed disc lock. The one I've got is from a company called Xena. It's alarmed, it's got a 14 mil pin, uh, and it's very robust and strong. So that's on the front wheel. So, very simple guys. Just take the key, straight into the lock. Lift, turn, and off it comes like that. And then to put it back on, just slide it onto the disc all the way up. Push in, turn, and that's it, that's on. The bleep signifies it's now on. Then moving to the center of the bike, the most important thing these days really to keep your bike secure when it's at home or maybe at the office perhaps, is a ground anchor and a really good chain. Now I've got a ground anchor, a torque ground anchor, which I bought from a company called Pragmasis. Uh, and again, I'll stick the link up. So with that, I've got a 19 millimeter chain also, which weaves through the frame of the bike. Okay, so securing the bike, I'll put a cloth on the actual frame to make sure I protect that when I'm putting the chain on. And basically, I take this part of the chain here, bring it through and round. And there we go, like that. I use the pillion footrest to hold the chain in place. This is protecting the frame. And then just take the other part of the chain, link it through, and then take my lock. Unlock, push this through here. This goes on the end. And then you have to move it down a little bit to be able to turn. If I try and lock it here, it won't lock. So take a little bit of pressure off, put it there. That's now locked in place, nice and firm. And the uh, the floor anchor is going to keep that here in place, no issues at all. So anyway, those are the three main ways in which I keep my bike secure. The steel motorbike shed, the disc lock on the front wheel, and also the ground anchor in conjunction with the thick chain. One other feature that this bike does have is an alarm. It's a BMW standard alarm, and basically um, it's very straightforward. You take your key in hand, and basically, uh, with the bike just switched off, to arm the alarm, you push this button here once, and you'll see the lights will flash twice. Uh, and then to disarm the alarm, you push this button here once, lights flash once, and it's then disarmed. So, one press on the BMW button, arms the alarm with two flashes. To disarm the alarm, just push the button below, you get one flash, and now the alarm is off. You can set the alarm to auto arm, and you can also set the alarm to bleep or chirp, if you like, when you turn it off and on. 
What I found is um, when I was coming home off of the bike, if I was then staying around the bike and tinkering around, wiping it down or whatever, it would set the alarm off. So I set the auto alarm off because uh, it was just annoying for me. Uh, but obviously, if your situation is you drive straight into your garage, lock the bike, walk away, then no problem in leaving it in that way. Um, so that's pretty much it with regards to how I secure the bike. One other thing I would say is that bike crime is very rife in the UK today. Uh, lots of bikes getting stolen all the time. So one thing I've never really thought about before, but I'm glad I did when I bought my first bike, is gap insurance because when my bike got stolen, it did make a big difference with regards to how much the insurance company paid out and what I then got back from the Gap Insurance Company. And that enabled me to maintain uh, staying on a bike, being able to afford a bike. Um, and my Gap Insurance cost me something about 120 quid. And when you think over the four years or three years of finance, if you buy your bikes in that way, like I do, um, it's a very small amount of money per month to make sure that if the worst does happen, you're not out of pocket. So that's pretty much it really guys for today. Just a very quick video about how I secure my bike um, in my given situation without a garage. Uh, I hope you found the video informative and interesting. And as always, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. Thank you very much to those of you who have subscribed. Uh, and uh, if you wanna give me a like, please do give me a like. Comments below, please, um, for discussion. And as always guys, as the weather improves and we're all getting out there, please do ride safe. Thanks very much guys, take care, cheers, bye bye now, see ya.